Okay, so to simplify this rational expression, let's try to factor the trinomial that's in the numerator and the binomial that's in the denominator. Um, the trinomial in the numerator looks to be a perfect square trinomial. We'll try that out. So let's write a product of two binomials. Let's see. So 4x squared is the square of 2x. 9, the last term, that's the perfect square of 3. Okay, everything's positive in here, so everything would have to be positive in the numerator. Okay, so let's check this. Multiply the inner 2, that's a 6x, and multiply the outer 2, that's also a 6x. So the sum of these two terms, that would give us the middle term here in this trinomial, which is 12x. So this is the correct factorization. In the denominator, this is a sum of two cubes. So we can write the sum of two cubes using the sum of cubes factoring formula. And in this case, let's see, um, 8x cubed plus 27. Let's see. So 8x cubed, that is the perfect cube of 2x. And 27, that's the cube of 3. Alright, so using the factoring formula, it's going to be 2x plus 3. And then it's going to be 2x squared, so that's 4x squared, minus 2x times 3, so that's going to be 6x. And then the last term of this trinomial would be 3 squared, so that would be positive 9. Okay. So let me get some space here and rewrite this. All right, so the next thing to do is to divide out factors common to both numerator and denominator. And 2x plus 3 is common to both numerator and denominator. We'll go ahead and divide those out. And write out what we have left over. We have 1 times 2x plus 3 in the numerator. So that's going to be a 2x plus 3. And then in the denominator, we have 1 times this trinomial. So that would just be... 4x squared minus 6x plus 9. And that's it.